Well, you put your TVs in it. Or where you have one? No, well, whatever. Right there's one. Don't have to worry about the backdrop. Yeah. yeah. How are we well, doing? How about our phone? Yeah, yeah. Sir, how are you? <laughs> Living the dream. I'm doing great. Good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations! You had a big uh, win yesterday. Ah, thank you. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, it's an exciting day. It was an exciting day, and uh, uh, not only did uh, the University of Illinois uh, get a very, very good basketball player, uh, we got a young man who was um, worked really, really hard to get there. Uh, he wasn't on a lot of radars as a um, as a sophomore in high school, and um, I have tremendous value. Uh, in the character that he has shown to become Mr. Basketball in this state, and uh, uh, a lot of um, a lot of thanks go to his high school program, his high school coaches, his AAU coaches, uh, and then I guess ultimately we're grateful that uh, uh, baseball got out of the way. Uh, but uh, a very gifted athlete, and I think it speaks volumes for his uh, what type of athlete he is. He was also a top shelf baseball player, but. Um, uh, wonderful family. Uh, the first time I met with uh, with Mark and his family, I had I had seen a lot of film. I had actually not seen him play live. And uh, then as I um, left that house, and I told Jamal, who was Jamal was the point on this uh, this young man's recruitment, and and uh, I loved him. Uh, what a, what a great uh, great family and, and younger brother and sister. And uh, so that was exciting, uh, and I got more excited. Uh, every every conversation I had, uh, just because he's 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 a terrific person. Was it? Were you confident through the whole process that he would come to Illinois? Were there ever doubts? Well, I, I don't. I wouldn't say confident. I think that that it's a process of of, uh, of building a relationship. And I'm a relationship guy. And and you know, you're coming in in a very quick manner when there's a coaching change. I felt good. I never was. I don't think I am, I'm ever confident until that name's. On the dotted line in recruiting, uh, there's 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 a lot of moving pieces always, but uh, uh, I felt our conversations. Uh, I thought I thought we had a great plan in place for him. Uh, I think he had a, a, a tremendous or has a tremendous passion uh, for our university, and and uh, uh, but uh, I wouldn't say I was ever extremely confident. No. What are what are what the skill? About just talking. I think when you talk to him as a person, you see that right away. This is a, this is like he reminds a lot of us of Malcolm Hill in terms of what kind of a person he is. Basketball skills wise, though, Brad, what 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 really turns you on about him? Well, he's an explosive athlete. Uh, he's a very gifted athlete. I, his first time I watched him, he reminded me a little bit of of, of a former player here, Drawn Williams, but a better, probably a better shooter at the same time. Um, at this point in their careers, and uh, uh, you know, some people have labeled Mark a specialist, a shooter. I don't see him as that at all. I think he's a great playmaker. I think he's a guy that can play the point uh, and and be a be a tremendous asset because he makes his teammates better. He does whatever is needed in the course of a game. If that's scoring, he's going to score. If it's uh, the defense loads to him, he's an extremely high IQ player. He's got great feel. He's got great instincts, and physically, he's in a position to play right away. Uh, everybody's seen his body type, and, and uh, he's a strong athlete. Usually freshmen uh, have to develop physically. Mark does. Mark's dialed in there and, and a very strong young man. So, uh, But his, his skill set is uh, very unique, and he's very well-rounded in, in all aspects. Position-wise, how, how does that differentiate him from Trent Frazier and – Tijan Lucas and Demonte Williams. Sizes, size is a is a tremendous value uh, when you have his athleticism and you have his uh, his skill set. Uh, his versatility is is one of the his greatest assets. His his playmaking allows him to play the point in his IQ. Uh, obviously, you've got you got smaller guards that are or guys that. Uh, um, Maybe maybe not as versatile in, in, in TJ and, and, and Trent, but that doesn't mean they're bad players either. Uh, but but Mark's got a unique skill set because of because of his athleticism and the size he has. What kind of advantage then does that maybe give you? Where one through three, you've got possibly have a really good ball handler. We'll see that. I, I hope that's the case. Uh, you know, I think it. I, 
I don't like light pieces. Okay, and what I mean by that, I don't like any two players to be the same. I think you have when you have versatility and guys who can play, I don't label guys, uh, especially on the offensive end, by position. Sure, we're going to do some things with, uh, with guys in ball screens that other guys can't do, but it's more mismatch. It's more uh, taking advantage of, of strengths. The game is going away from set plays. The game is becoming, you watch the NBA game with a shorter shot clock. We're struggling, I think, at times in college basketball to deal with the 30-second clock. Uh, it's, it's one of the things we've tried to do is be very, uh, put guys in positions earlier in the offense to, to be able to score. In what ways does Mark reflect the kind of identity you're trying to establish with this program? In every way. In every way. Character wins. Yes, you have to be a very good player. There's no doubt about that. But character and, and uh, 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 the, the culture, he's got tremendous leadership. Uh, I think that's, that was evidenced at his press conference yesterday and how many people showed up and, and former teammates. That's a tremendous trait. Not everybody, not everybody can pull that off. Uh, people are drawn to him. He's got, he's got that personality about him. But uh, uh, he loves his teammates here. He's talked about them at length already uh, in his relationships. That's exciting because that, that's a young man who's, who's going to fit in well. And uh, absolutely, we want to build our program around uh, young men who win off the court just as much as they win on the court. You're out on the floor with your guys now. How are they responding to, to what you're working with them on now? Today was our, our last day of ind individual workouts. We've had uh, exactly three weeks with them on the court. Uh, they've been with, uh, with Fletch in the weight room a couple weeks beyond that. Uh, we've had a tremendous spring. Uh, it's been mostly skill work. Today was the, the first day that we have had uh, uh, the group all together. It's been small groups, a lot of repetitions, a lot of ball handling, a lot of passing, uh, a good amount of shooting, and then uh, uh, a lot of footwork things. I'm a very fundamental guy. We start at the ground level. Uh, we'll get them back in June, and um, now it's their time. Now they've got to get on their own and work. But, uh, I've been very pleased with uh, their commitment level, their work ethic, uh, their ability to, to listen, and that's, uh, that's all I can ask for. Have you had Pinky? Uh, no. What's uh, how have you handled the center position without the two guys graduating and, and Pinky not there? We have we've we've literally done a lot of skill work to be honest because it's we do all the same thing with them. Uh, we have done nothing in terms of really putting in anything offensively. Uh, today we did a little bit of three on three stuff, more just to help them play and and to see who competes. Um, but, but Michael's coming off a foot injury and, and is well documented and finished the year in a boot. And uh, now it's about him healing. And uh, we've done, you know, just a lot of shooting flips with him and, and free throws. Uh, he just got out of the boot this week, but he's, uh, he's on the road to recovery. So, uh, yeah, we don't, uh, we don't per se have a center right now. So well, I wanted to ask you about that, but I know you've got time to yet to get one, I suppose. But uh, what's your reaction if I told you you had to go small, let's say? Have you gone small before? I think we played uh, majority of the game against West Virginia in the NCAA tournament with 5'8", five, 5'10", five, and 3'6", guys. <laughs> I think the outcome was okay. <laughs> Hugs probably will disagree with that. But um, I think sometimes it's, 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 the, uh, it's the fight in the dog instead of the size of the dog, so to speak. And uh, uh, I've loved what I've seen out here in terms of our guys competing uh, and trying to get better. Are we going to look for size? Absolutely. Uh, it's, a, it's a priority, but um, I'm sure not afraid to play small. Can you give us any idea of, of what you've seen of Kipper Nichols so far and what, how you see him playing on the team, he's been, fitting in? That yeah, is. he's been one of, our, one of our, I've been very impressed with him. He's been one of our most improved guys. Uh, I've been surprised um, at, at his ball handling and his, his ability to play on the perimeter. I think he's a uh, a young man who's got a chance defensively to be, um, gosh, one of the league's best. He's physically very, very gifted at that end uh, with a great body. He's got great quickness. He's explosive. He's got length. Uh, so he can guard probably from a two through a four. What do you see him as? 
Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't got that far. Okay. Um, I, I, I see him as a versatile player who can do a lot of things. Uh, he's been a better shooter than I've seen him from the three. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's one of our top three-point shooters and, and percentage-wise here. And, uh, uh, and yet I think if you do play small, I'd have no problems with him guarding fours uh, in this league. So uh, that versatility is very important to me. And I think we have... Uh, uh, having a guy like him is extremely important. Okay, back to, to Mark. Yeah, he's your first player that you've signed at Illinois. You know, Mr. Basketball you know, beat out some, some top other programs to get him. How do you feel like maybe that sets the tone for how you want to see recruiting you know, go in your time here? Well, I think the lifeblood of our program is recruiting. And to, to be able to, to get Mr. Basketball in this state, we should. We've got to be. In a, we've got to be the option, not just a option. We've got to be the option. And and I, I've said this many times. We're the University of Illinois, and 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 we've got one of the proudest, most uh, dynamic histories, and we got great tradition. We've got a great fan base. Uh, yeah, I think it's. I think it's a. It, uh, it's a very positive. Uh, thing for us, I think it's it speaks volumes to to our staff. Jamal did a great job. We all dove into this uh, recruitment, and, and uh, we we group recruit. Uh, but I think it speaks um, I think it speaks volumes, and I'm excited about that. I think it's something we can continue to build on, and and it it uh, it sure beats the alternative of not getting him. Do you expect to add to this 17 class? Bro? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. We've got scholarships open, and we'll. Uh, We'll continue to uh, uh, keep keep uh, knocking on doors and beating down, uh, beating the trails, looking for them. And uh, in today's in today's world, it's uh, a lot of transfers, a lot of fifth year transfers, and uh, uh, we'll look to continue to make this team as good as we can possibly make it. We know you're not allowed to talk about recruits until they sign on the dotted line. Can you talk about them after they've been released? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got and there's guys out there too that, are, yeah. that made themselves available to the draft, didn't sign with an agent, but don't really know yet which way they'll go either. Well, that's that's why recruiting never stops. Right. As we have we have different cycles now in recruiting with 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 young men that have put their name in the draft, uh, and then we have um, you know guys that uh, will find out if they're on the the NBA list to go to Chicago. Some may pull up for that. We'll find out. That, How many go to Chicago? Um, you know, that's a great question that I don't it's have. 137 that, that have actually. Yeah, been on that's out. that's a great question. I don't know the answer to so that. So if you don't go to Chicago, you're pretty much. It's a pretty good indicator, I would think. Yeah. And I think now you're deciding if you want to sign an agent to probably go abroad. Uh, but uh, some may go back, and and uh, so we have different dates that have become pretty important in terms of. There comes another influx of players available. Uh, the end of the school year uh, for post grads is important. Uh, you know, some of those people will be in summer school as well. So you've got really a recruiting process that is uh, nonstop now. In trying to fill out this class, what kind of skills would you be looking for in a big man? Good players. Uh, I think one thing with with, with with bigs, I think the one thing you try to find is something somebody who can do something exceptionally well, uh, not get, not, you're not finding that guy usually who has a well-rounded package, you, you may, but if, whether it's scoring, whether it's rebounding, I look for, for them to excel in one area, and then we can help them in the rest. And, uh, uh, you know, if they've, uh, whether it be a high school kid or whether it be a fifth year, uh, we'll take what fits, but, uh, uh, you know, adding a piece there would be quite nice. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Question on practice. Mm -hmm. What's your What is your approach to media watching practice? I to, let me turn this off. <laughs> and what you swear at me? <laughs> <laughs> there are days it'll be closed. That I'll just shut it off. Most days I'm, I'm, I'm pretty. So we'll have some opportunities mm -hmm. to see what they look like. Mm -hmm. We won't know how to react to that. <laughs> I remember the old days. I don't. I. You know what? I'm. I'm. Um, the only thing I don't allow in practice is phones. Where people vi actually video. Oh yeah, and, that, and that's. But, but that's all I do. I'll try Sorry, to, I'll try to remember to turn mine off. <laughs>
but I, I, but I let it ring and there's zip I, once. <laughs> and I've I've had where people come in and their phones are, and it's something you know Derek and I'll have to discuss a little further. But I'm I'm pretty good that way, awesome. and know that I'm gonna challenge guys and I'm gonna work to get them better. And, and um, you also ought to know that we're not smart enough to say anything that we, <laughs> that would give anything away. I know better than that. You guys aren't tricking me with that. I know better than that. So.